Welcome. Uh, this, my name is John EdTech Hacker Lenhart, and I am uh, trying. I'm going to be using Hangouts on Air to show how to set up Hangouts on Air to do a collaborative sharing of video and other resources in high quality. Um, to do this, you're going to need uh, a few programs. Uh, one of which is Soundflower, Ladiocast, and Wirecast. And if you want to do multiple cameras in the free Wirecast, I can show you how to do that with Reflector uh, and using an iPhone. And so that'll be, uh, we'll do that a little later. And so we are going to not do a collaborative hangout right now. I have no guests down below here, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not sharing this publicly yet. Uh, I'm actually using Hangouts to do an instructional video. What I want to do, this one's in, in many respects for me to help me remember how I set up and how I'm using this, and two, just to share with my colleagues and, and some of the schools I'm working with, uh, how they too can set this up and save some time on the, on the work I've been doing. So let's take a look at a few of the um, uh, tools that we've, we've, we've been using here. Uh, one of the first ones I'm going to go to here, change this, and this is Ladiocast. Ladiocast is a free program, and uh, I have to download in the show notes down below. And it is a way, it's a mixer, it's a way to take multiple channels and send it out uh, to Hangouts in a way that will work when you're doing local video. The problem is you could sh turn a local video on with screencasting, you won't hear the sound. And so the way we do that is I'm having, and I'll show you how to set this up, but I'm, I'm going to all of, the, all of the audio that the computer is generating itself is going to Soundflower, and that is a channeling software. And so I'm going to send all the sound that I sent to Soundflower, the 64 channel, now, that becomes what I select. There's all these things that are in, plugged into my machine or installed, but I'm going to use this as my sound input from the computer. Down below here, you can see I have my microphone, and this is the input number two. Now, this is, this is what you're hearing me on right now, and I could choose, again, a multiplicity of, of different inputs, but this is the one I don't want to hear, because it's very annoying if I was monitoring what was going to Hangouts. I want to hear what's coming from the computer up here, but I don't want to hear the mic. And the way I do that is, if you look right here, it says the Soundflower 64 is going to the main output, which is, I'm designating as the one that is, is going to Hangouts on Air. And the third, the second one here is going to auxiliary. That's my headset. That's what I'm monitoring this with. Now I can hear the computer sounds, just like Hangouts on Air will hear it. But my talking, I don't want to hear. So down here, it's going to the main, which is Hangouts, but it's not going to the headset because I don't want to hear myself on a slight delay. Very, very difficult. The third thing is Wirecast also plays video and does some other things, which I'll show you in a second. So I have a Wirecast virtual microphone, and so that is my third input, and that also is going to whoops, going to the main and going to the auxiliary headset so I can monitor it. So the only one I can't hear through my headset right now is the microphone, even though you're hearing it right now. And that makes all of this possible. That's why Ladiocast is necessary. It's for mixing the sound. Hangouts does this automatically, but what it does is it just allows you to take what's the microphone that you're using to go out. You don't monitor it. You don't, uh, you, while you hear the computer sounds possibly through your headset, you won't, it, uh, Hangouts won't hear it. So we need to mix that into a channel that Hangouts can hear. Now, the way I make that work, is if I go to the sound preference settings, I set my output, and this is the important one, to Soundflower 64. That way, the one that I chose as my input for Ladiocast is my computer's output. So all computer sounds will come through channel 64. Now, if you remember, let me go back. On Ladiocast, this is where we set Soundflower 64 
for my number one input is where the uh, uh, channels will be going. Okay, let's take a look at what I'm actually doing here. Now this is my main control screen. So on this here is Wirecast. Wirecast, I have a screen that shows what's happening. And I have over here, I have my, my Google Hangouts screen, which shows the same thing. Only you'll see it's in reverse because that way when I'm showing myself, uh, when I point to the left, it, it is a mirror image. And so that makes it easier for the speaker when you see yourself. Uh, everything else is also reversed, but I'm watching the Wirecast screen, and my camera's actually in between both of them, so I can actually maintain eye contact when I'm doing that. I also have access to all my other tools, and many of these I could be using. I'm not using them today because I'm trying to show you what we can do. One of the nice things is I can put my overlay in, which I forgot to do on my face, but I can put my overlay in on the screen and, and, and have that in. And so I can use the Google tools on top of the wire. Wirecast is sending out a camera single signal, no matter what it's sending, a video, a screenshot, whatever. And Google thinks that I am just sending them a camera. And that's all it's using it as. And it's one of the reasons why the video works so well, because Google's not real crazy about video being sent because of copyright problems. But all the video I'm showing you, I've made, so it's not an issue. Now, let's go back to, back to me and the camera. And so now I'm on my main camera again. And I can also, just to demonstrate, here's my, I can put my, my lower third. Now this is being generated by Google Hangouts, not by Wirecast. I could do it in Wirecast, but I would have to upgrade this free version, which is Wirecast Play for YouTube, and buy the uh, studio version, which is $200. And then I can edit shots and do a lot more prep work and do my own lower thirds, and animated lower thirds, and some really fancy things. But for this for our purposes right now, I wanted to show how can we do things for free. And so this is, this is, we're demonstrating. What we're demonstrating here is for free. There's only one program that costs money and what I'm going to demonstrate, and that's so the Reflector, which is a very powerful program if you're an iMac or an iPhone user in the classroom and you want to display the contents up on your projector or on your computer so that you can put it on a projector. That, that is a great program. So let me turn this off. Get rid of the lower third. Now I'm going to go back to why the uh, screen main screen here so you can see, kind of get an idea of how I do this. This is what I'm looking at. If I want to change the screen, I would just, for instance, I could click on there. I'm going to click on the camera, and this tells me right here what my uh, transitions are. Right now I have a smooth transition, and if I hit the Go button, it automatically takes off into that to what I selected. And if I do that, though, you'll lose access to the screen. So that would change right there. I also have other things I can do here. Um, when I have a blank screen right here, if I click on that one, that, that will go to black. No sound, nothing. It's a clear everything. What you saw when I had the music playing and and just my icon, that was because we never know when the, the, the Hangouts on Air actually starts. So this is a way to put something up there while the whole starting procedure happens. And then you saw my uh, quickie logo animated overlay. And for some reason, Wirecast is showing me a confounded picture of me trying to figure out why um, on the screen instead of the actual image of the uh, animated uh, little movie logo for the 10 seconds. So I'm not sure why it's happening, but it does work properly when I do put it up. And uh, for instance, just to show you that, I'll go to this and you'll see the screen changing. So, and then of course I selected my screen and hit the go and went back to, to mine. Now, that's that that I have everything set up in such a way so that one I can do a fairly complex set of transfers 
while I'm managing the show. And of course, I also have controls I can do when I'm working with a group of people down below here and, and, and that are participants in the show. And I would just use the Hangout screen to control that part. And then my part, I would use Wirecast for. So, but here's the big advantage, and that's the, the ability to show video. But there's a couple other things. Uh, Wirecast is restricted. Wirecast Play, the free one. You have the ability to do one camera, and you can't edit shots, but you can set them up. But you can do more than one camera. Let me show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is I have my iPhone here, and it has a an app on it that I it's called Mirror. It's uh it's in the show notes. It's actually got a different name. I can't remember what it is. But it's, it's a mirror. It's what it's set up to do. And the advantage of a mirror is there are no overlays on it like a normal video program would be. And what I'm sharing is my screen. So in essence, I get a reversed image camera, which could be useful for doing things like I'm going to be doing, which is very difficult to demonstrate otherwise. So I'm going to pull that up. Let me, I'm going to select that, and we're going to transfer and now you're looking at the image on my screen. Now let me first, I'm going to show you my setup. That's what I showed you earlier. Notice where the camera is. And that is because it's really important when you're doing uh, interactive videos with people that you try to maintain eye contact with the camera. And the nice thing about this Logitech C920 is that you see little blue lines there that's kind of like eyeballs, and it's a little easier to engage the camera, and so you look like you're looking at the people while you're talking to them. So to make it easier, since I'm so busy here, I put it right in between, and it's you notice it's in a dead area on, log, on the um, Wirecast screen, and right next to the the Google Hangout screen. And so now I have I, I think it's a little easier for me to maintain eye contact. And now if you see over here, I have my second monitor, and that's just got my staged uh, Safari browser, which I'm going to share with you in a second, so you'll see how that works. And then over here is my third screen, which is my laptop computer, and then you can see right there is the screen that you're looking at, and that's what's being shared. Reflections is, is AirPlay. It's kind of like a, a, a making your computer an Apple TV, and I can send whatever is on my screen to the computer. Since that window, I can make a screenshot. I can make a shot out of it. Uh, what you're seeing is Wirecast taking that screen and putting it up as a shot. And so now I have, in essence, another camera. And then there's the, if you look right next to it here, right there, you'll see the sound uh, window I pulled up earlier. Now, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of a long shot here so you can see some of the benefits. I have this one, what's called a monopod, so it's a big stick. And so I can bring this out and give you an old, a long view of my office. So this is what I've been working with. And so now we're dealing with this camera. And I'll just swing around so you can see my background that you saw from there. And then I'm going to come around here. And then what's nice in this office here, I also have a whiteboard so that I can do filming there and do instructional video on the whiteboard and and actually getting ready for doing some things with my wife also. Uh, being an English grammar teacher, she'll be doing grammar lessons on YouTube uh, and we'll be filming them there. That's also where I do my green screen work so that I can, uh, uh, I can tape my green cloth up to the board and use that as a background so I can pull that image out and put myself in front of anything that, that happens to be a video or still picture. Okay, let me, uh, while we're here, I'm going to pull back my, and we're back onto the main camera. Let me fold this up. You can see, okay, there's my iPhone, and I'll turn that off. Okay, I showed you uh, the ability to also uh, pull up a, a website. Now, Google Plus has the ability of sharing screens. I can share either a whole a monitor window, or I can share just a window. Um, what I I can also do the same thing in Wirecast. The advantage is I can do other things like putting lower thirds on it, putting explanations on it. I can use the lower third capability in Google in uh, Hangouts to annotate 
a screen that I'm putting up temporarily. And just to give you an idea, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to my EdTech Hacker website. Okay, so here's my EdTech Hacker website, and it's got a little carousel animation on it, so you can actually see it moving. And if I had annotations I'd want, I could make them the same way I make them for Google Hangouts for my lower third. I could create uh, transparent annotations to overlay on top, which I can't do when I'm sharing a screen in, in, um, in, in Hangouts using Hangouts. This way I'm using it in Wirecast, and then Hangouts can do the overlays because it thinks it's a camera. And so I can build a whole bunch of these saved presets and pull them up if I so desire once I prepare and do that. Okay, well, I've, I've shown you how to set up uh, LadioCast, your system preferences, uh, Wirecast, and not so much how to set it up, but how to use it, and, uh, uh, and of course, how to use Soundflower. And so I'm going to include the links and notes down below in the, in the show notes. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials on the internet for setting up and installing these programs, though I probably will be going through and doing those little by little uh, um, just to help out the people I'm working with. And um, otherwise, uh, thank you. This was a, this was a, a, a great opportunity. Uh, it's actually my first real hangout I'll probably make public. And uh, let's, uh, we'll definitely touch, you know, bases again. Uh, take care. I'm going to put out a little traveling music so that we can close this down correctly. <laughs>